One of the questions I get asked most often is how do we analyse story? How do we extract data from stories? Well, when we're talking about data in stories, very often what we're talking about is meaning. How do we extract meaning from stories? And the value of stories is that very often the meaning or the data that we extract can come in many different forms. And often it can be contradictory. There can be kinds of data that contradict another kind of data. Because stories very often serve to problematise and complicate things as much as they do to try and clarify and clear things up. Because that's the job of stories. That's what they do and what they do so well. So when we look at a story, we can look at it in many different ways. And part of that is determined by the medium in which it's being represented. So if we were to look at a digital story, for example, we could look at the the imagery, we could look at the uh, moving footage or any still photography associated with that story. We could look at the audio, what's happening with the voice, how somebody expresses themselves in that story. Or we could also look at the story as a piece of text. We can look at it as the words that are actually spoken. And in order to do that, the first thing we'd need to do is to transcribe what is being said. Now, Transcription itself is a tricky process. It's something that has always challenged um, folklorists and linguists throughout the ages because how do you write down the words and also capture all the other things that go into speech? Some of the things that I'm doing now, the speed at which I'm speaking, how I stress certain words, um, pauses, oh, things like um that I just said then, all those kinds of things are very difficult to capture when you transcribe without producing something that looks like a total incomprehensible mess of symbols. Well, there is one way that I quite like of trying to capture some of the other features of speech on the page. And it's something that I've called um, verse narrative. And what it is, is a process that I first came across about 20 years or so ago that was used by the poet Leon Macaulay in Northern Ireland. And Leon Macaulay had done some work um, in Derry and had captured some oral interviews, which he then set about transcribing. And the technique he used was that every time, when he was listening to a piece, of, a piece of text, a story being told, every time there was a pause or a change in emphasis or some kind, of, some kind of change in what was being said, he would simply start a new line and wrote out the line. And what he discovered was at the end he had something that looked like a piece of poetry. More than that, what it did was highlight the rhythms, the repetitions, all those things that we were trying to capture simply by the way that the text was set out in verse form. The other thing it does is it emphasises the absolutely precise and vital relationship in a story between the person who is telling and the person who is listening. Because this isn't some kind of exact science. If I am listening to a text, to a story, and transcribing it, I might decide to start a new line in a different place that you might. It's as much about what is being heard as about what is being told. And that's the important thing about story. So let me give you an example. This is the best way to do it. And I'm going to show you an example of a digital story that was made as part of Project Aspect. And Project Aspect was something we did, a big research project we did, funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council in partnership with the Department of Energy and Climate Change. And the purpose of the project was to see whether we could increase levels of public engagement in the conversation, in the public debate around climate change by reframing that conversation in terms of narrative, and particularly in terms of the everyday narratives that people tell. So what we have here is Heather's story, and you can see the digital story um, on this web page, and you can watch that. You'll also see a piece of text, and that is my transcription, my verse narrative of what Heather has said. 
And as I listened to it, every time I sensed a bit of a change or a pause, I'd start a new line. You can try it for yourself and you may make different decisions because you will hear the story slightly differently from me. But when you look at it, you'll see that certain aspects of what Heather is saying are highlighted by this process. You get a very good sense of what are the really important things about what she's prioritising, what she feels about certain um, parts of her story that you can't get from just a straightforward prose transcription. And even by listening to the story, you might miss because you get involved in the story so much as a listener. Anyway, have a look at Heather's story, watch the video, have a look at the text and see what you think. And then have a go at trying it yourself. Record a bit of, of dialogue with somebody and then have a go at transcribing it.